Now, this video is going to be titled Wars, Recessions, and Pandemics. Because this is what this video was about. Now, I know a lot of you may be wondering what the hell is going on in the world. It's always something. We got pandemics, recessions, and now another war. While another war is going on. So what does all this mean? Now, you may have heard of, you know, new world order, certain terms like that, a whole lot of conspiracies. Well, what you may be realizing is conspiracies are the norm, not the exception. You know, the truth is stranger than fiction. It really is. So I'm going to break down as far as my understanding on what exactly is happening and what's the meaning and purpose behind all that is taking place currently. So let's get to the wars. Now there's a term, the best enemy money can buy. Now it's been said for a long time that the U.S. and the world powers that be, you know, the higher, higher ups would like to get the world into what is called perpetual warfare or currently called forever wars. And they tried it with the whole um, terrorism and that kind of played out as far as with the whole 9-11 Osama bin Laden well the terrorists is everywhere so we got to find the terrorists and you know that fake news or half truth fizzled out so what could we come with next and you got to keep in mind there's always ever so often recessions and not the ones that you know that can be found in a a normal untainted society of supply and demand but these recessions are you know purposely um, manufactured but anyway in spite of all that going on you got which now again like I said the terrorist lie fizzled out so now we had the, which was a good one, and it took them a while to develop it, but the whole pandemic, because you got to think, this is an enemy, you guys, we got to fight, that's everywhere, it's uh, basically faceless, nameless, you can't see it, um, you know, anybody can be the enemy, so to speak, anybody can have it, so we really got to clamp down you know on society everyone for everyone's safety so you kind of see the pattern that's developing and the pattern not only developing that has developed you know so and there's also theories that eventually they're going to do away with the paper dollar and at first I thought maybe that would be the case. Well, now we got to do away with the paper dollar because of the whole pandemic, you know, the uh, COVID. And what is the most filthiest thing that goes through the most hands other than paper money? So I thought they was going to try that, but apparently they didn't. Well, not yet. They haven't tried it. So now we got another war. And this looks like this is going to be because you got to understand the Israeli-Palestine conflict has been taking place for quite a long time. You know, ever since those people were, uh, they moved the people from the land, I think in the 40s, and then put the uh, Israeli people where the, the Jewish people who 
who I guess were in the concentration camps and put them over there under the guise of, you know, the Israelis. This is their land according to the Bible. And so that conflict has been going on for quite a while. And I think even before then, those they may or may have not been at odds. I'm not really sure. I really don't think. But anyway, so as you can see, that is a, a conflict with no ending. And people wonder why all the, our country, our, our leaders are spending billions of dollars over there. All they're doing is just right now, in my opinion, the United States is being gutted. For all the wealth that's been accumulated from the past hundreds of years through the slave trade, now what I think the people who really have the wealth are doing are parlaying it over into uh, crypto and just kind of because the dollar is devaluing anyway. They know this. So they're just funneling money away under the guise of wars. I don't even think a lot of those billions of dollars are even going to those countries. It's just pretty much laundering this money away under the guise of war and safety if you ask me it probably gets a lot deeper than that so we got this going on the u.s is being gutted because it's already been a theory that you know they want to downgrade the united states to kind of like a a second world a 2.5 country to kind of humble the u.s and to help i guess to make the u.s citizens willingly uh, uh, more willingly to be able to accept the uh, whole new world order that's coming about. And, you know, again, this is a theory. You know, something to think about. So we got that going on. And from the looks of it, I mean, it could be a possibility. I mean, you know, only time would tell. But from the looks of things, this country is definitely being gutted uh Social Security, so you got people, generations before me, have worked their whole life, and even me, I worked my whole life, and, you know, every so often, you know, they send you that, that check saying, hey, if you was to retire right now, this is how much you'll be getting paid a month, and mine has been going down substantially, and I don't know why, I'm still working, still, still taking that money out of my check so that's something to think about you guys and again uh, like I said the best enemy money can buy so back to the whole pandemic thing and this is not to dispute the existence of COVID because it actually do exist but not how it's been packaged, and I say that because I got a medical dictionary from 2012, and it's in there. But it's, like they say, the COVID-19, so this is like the 19th version that they didn't, you know, tweaked and manipulated, and we already know. So this is not no smite to anyone who has died from this, quote-unquote, but people got to think they call it a virus but it's not necessarily a virus this is, this is it's more of a respiratory thing this is not like the common cold or anything so that's something to think about as well you know and i'm not a doctor this is just all theory and opinion and something to think about so we got the perpetual warfare the forever wars we got the constant uh, financial uh, recessions coming and going and then we got the the new enemy the pandemics coming and going and I want to go back to the whole financial because again like I said we got constant recessions but here's something to think about as well when it comes to the financial Now, remember the whole last big, great depression? When was that? That was about a hundred years ago, huh? So, don't be surprised if we have some type of 
anniversarial depression in the U.S. where you think these recessions and gas prices and whatnot has been taking a toll on us. We really see uh, a inflation of prices because that's already been going on anyway. But I can really see that happening because you got to think I can see, hey, the roaring 20s, you know, the boost up crypto, et cetera, et cetera. And then all of a sudden, you know, it goes down and, you know, inflation goes up and it's a real Great Depression, just like in the 1920s. So, same probably happened in the 2020s. Perhaps the, they got a every 100-year Great Depression plan for us. Who knows? Anything won't surprise me at this point, personally. But, you know, this is just a quick video just to give you guys something to think about regarding these uh, wars, uh, recessions, and pandemics. And there's a method to the madness, but it's probably going to get worse before it gets better because then that'll wake people up. I mean, obviously, you know, you got people right now, they're making good money. They don't give a damn. And but even though they still feeling a hit, but they don't really, you know, see too far or think too deep into things. And you got normal people the same way. You know, everybody's so busy surviving. You know, you really had a time to think, and then you're getting bombarded by all this information, which is another thing. You know, and the majority of it is false. You got a lot of real information out there, but you got a lot of false information too. And no one, how could you? tell the difference and this is another video perhaps I need to uh, reiterate and to speak on developing a filter but again that's for another video go ahead and subscribe I will be back at y'all with some more of this conspiracy theory talk you know and just uh, something to think about <laughs>